The unexpected closure of a dental center in Amarillo has left dozens of patients in pain, desperately seeking answers and help. Many paid upfront for procedures that still have not been completed. Others complain that the work that has been done is creating more problems. ABC 7's Morgan Durden shares one patient's story. We paid $1,740. Paid. And that was it. On October 20th, Carrie Ballantyne walked into Sherwood Dental Center in Amarillo. She had teeth extracted and received a partial bridge. She was starting the process of getting implants. On February 15th, she was scheduled to get liners and better fit the partial, which she says has been cutting her mouth. About maybe a couple days before my appointment, they called me, they said, hey, we have to cancel your appointment. Um, we, uh, the back... The liners are on back order, so when we get them, we'll make a new appointment. Okay. They never heard from them, so I called. The phone was disconnected. Ballantyne had already paid $1,740, and she's not alone. Lisa Allen got top temporaries and was supposed to get permanents in June. Shauna Johnson showed me these receipts from her husband's dental work from Sherwood. He paid $1,245. He was given these liners, which Johnson says are lumpsided and cannot be used, and he now has to go to an oral surgeon. A group on Facebook was created for former patients of Sherwood, which now has 90 members with a similar experience. I called the dentist's number. Your call cannot be completed as dialed. And it was in fact disconnected, and the sign on the door says office permanently closed. I spoke with attorney Chris Hess about the possible legal action these patients can take. He says they can go after the dentist, Dr. Lloyd Cohen's license. That is a very real threat that has immediate consequences uh, for that person running that business. Many patients say they are in pain and need more work after receiving care from Dr. Cohen. Attorney Ryan Brown has spoken to some former Sherwood patients. There was some pretty gruesome stuff that happened here. Uh, there's also just flat out theft and fraud, maybe Medicaid fraud, but what we need to do is anyone who is a victim here needs to get together and reach out. Like they're, I guess they're starting to do on this Facebook group, but come together and see what your claims are. I was not able to get in contact with anyone from Sherwood Dental Center. I will be following up with the Texas State Board of Dental Examiners for further investigation. Reporting in Amarillo, I'm Morgan Durden, ABC 7 News.